boys and girls. It's time for art class. My name is Miss Melissa. Take a look at what we're going to be learning about today. The bald cypress tree. Did you know that the bald cypress tree is the Louisiana state tree? It sure is. Well, I thought today we could draw this tree in pencil with some shading. It would actually look something like this. Would you like to draw and shade with me today? Well, great. Let me show you what you need to get started. You are going to need one sheet of white paper, a pair of scissors, a couple of pencils, and one eraser. I wanted to share with you some really cool facts about the bald cypress tree. Do you even know why is it called the bald cypress tree? Because all of the leaves and needles fall off of the tree in the fall and then the tree ends up looking bald. Can you guess how many years ago it was when the tree was actually named Louisiana's state tree? It was about 60 years ago in 1963. Do you know why the bald cypress is our state tree? Because it's very strong and it's really hard for this tree to get damaged by water or even insects. Here, you could even see there are several bald cypress trees in the water. And did you know that bald cypress trees can be found in swampy areas? This is an example of a swampy area. Here you could see the bottom of the tree trunk really, really good. And there's a, an egret standing right there. Look how wide it is at the bottom of this tree trunk. Did you know that this wood, actual cypress wood, is some of the most beautiful wood that you can find when building a house or even building furniture? Many architects and craftsmen really like to use cypress wood. And do you know what else is really cool about a cypress tree? One of the things that I like about the cypress tree is all of the moss that just grows and hangs on the tree. Here is a really good picture of one tree just covered in moss. In this book, I want to show you three really neat pictures of the bald cypress tree. Let's take a look. Here you can see a really up close picture of these trees, meaning it's really close and zoomed in. You can actually see the texture of the bark on the trunk of this tree. Do you know what all this green stuff is? That is some sort of algae that grows in swamps. So yes, all of these trees are in the swamp. This is all water. There's just green stuff on top of the water. What do you think all this brownish grayish stuff is? It kind of has like a tan, like a light brown, but gray also. What do you think all this stuff is blowing in the wind? If you were thinking moss, you are right. That's a very good picture of the moss as well. Let's look at another one. Now here we have two pictures. The one on the right looks like it could be maybe a sunrise or sunset. Same here. And in both of these pictures you could see how these trees are in the water. Last picture I wanted to show you was some cypress trees in the swamp 
when it's kind of foggy and rainy. Look at how these trees still stand out. I think it's beautiful. Well, I hope you enjoyed looking at these pictures with me. Now I'm going to show you the three types of lines that you need to draw your very own cypress tree. The first line that we're going to draw will be a straight line. You might draw a straight line for the water and you might even draw some straight lines up and down for the tree trunk. Another type of line we're going to draw will be a curvy line for the tree branches and we're going to make lots of wavy lines today for the bark. This will show the bark on the tree. We're also going to be making wavy lines, lots of squiggly wavy lines for the moss. All right, boys and girls, so go ahead and get your white sheet of paper. And what we're gonna do is fold it in half, just like this, so we can cut it. We only need part of this paper to draw. So I want you to copy off of me, fold it in half like a book, make sure the sides and the corners touch. And if you've worked with me before, we fold a lot of paper. Once you get the corners and the sides to touch, you can press it and make a crease. And then after that, open it up and you're gonna need your scissors to cut this in half. So you can do that with me. Remember, thumb goes in the small hole, fingers go in the big hole, open your scissors all the way and put the paper way in the back of the scissors mouth. Open wide and close. Open wide and close. Okay? Now, what I want you to do is I want you to hold on to one. Just kind of put it aside. We'll come back to it. Okay? And you're going to need the other paper to draw on. So go ahead and make sure your paper is the long way up and down, not side to side. Because remember, the bald cypress tree is very tall. So put your paper the long way. Right, the first thing we're gonna do is draw the swamp. So with your pencil, I want you to draw a straight line at the bottom of your paper, about right there. And it could be a little wiggly. Now I'm gonna use a different pencil than you. It's a little bit darker so it shows up. So go ahead and draw a straight line. And it could be bumpy, that's fine somewhere is on the bottom. Okay, now what I want you to do is put your pencil right in the middle and just make a little line. Alright, now that's going to be the middle of our tree. We're going to draw our tree here all the way up to the top. So I want you to draw two straight lines on both sides of this mark. One on this side, one on that side. Okay? Now, from the water all the way up to the sky, I want you to find where you think halfway is and draw another line or a mark. We're going to make our tree trunk go up to here before we have it branch out. All right, so watch. You're just going to draw a straight line and you could have it angle in just a little bit. You see how it goes, it kind of goes in just a little bit. I can bring it in some more if I want to. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now the bottom of the tree trunk, and you're copying off of me boys and girls, okay? So just follow along. The bottom of the tree trunk is almost like a... Um, I don't know how to say it, like a whale's tail. 
okay, or even a mermaid's big tail or fin, I guess you could call it. So it's almost like a triangle, but we're going to make it bumpy, so watch. I want you to bring the trunk down and make some waves going out, kind of in a diagonal. And then you can bring it in like that. Make another wave on the bottom. Okay, so it's just like a, it sort of looks like a, a, a mermaid's fin or tail. Um, it's just wavy lines on both sides at an angle and on the bottom. All right, so now what I, we can do is erase these little marks. We don't need these marks anymore. That was just to kind of help us a little bit to know how far we have to go. All right, now behind the tree trunk in the distance there's a bunch of trees but when we draw them you know what it's going to look like just some little bumps so use your wavy line and just make a bunch of bumps these are going to be some trees in the landscape okay so so far we used wavy lines for that now let's go ahead and and dr finish drawing the branches of this cypress tree. What I want you to do is draw a V, letter V, right on top of and in the middle of where we drew that tree trunk. So you're making a letter V. Now watch. I want you to put your pencil on the letter V and just kind of make a curve to the right. And we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. Curve to the right. And you could let it run off the page. We're going to do the same thing up here, but you know, trees aren't exactly the same on each side. So let's bring this one up a little higher and curve. Same thing, we're going to follow. Now let's make this one come out a little bit and make another V. Do you see that? You can make a branch. I just put a V in between and made a branch. You can make branches all sorts of ways. I'm showing you how to make it with a V and I'm also going to show you how to make another branch with a Y. We can do that now. Keep in mind, you can always take away some branches by erasing and you could always add new ones. So watch, let's make a branch like the letter Y. I want you to make a straight line, kind of diagonal at an angle. Make a straight line right on top. And then I want you to draw two straight lines or kind of bumpy lines. It looks like a letter Y. And now all you have to do is add another line next to it. Isn't that cool? Let's do another one. Let's make another branch. Draw a straight line going this way. And then you can make a V or it looks like a sideways Y. And then all we have to do, if you look, boys and girls, is just draw another line next to it. We can do that again. I think it's easy to make branches with a Y. So we're going to make a straight line coming out this way. And we'll make a Y on the end. It's like a sideways Y. And I'm going to draw a straight line. Basically we're making a space instead of just a line. So far so good? I think that's good. If you want to add more branches, you can after. Let's just see um, how this goes. So let's make sure we have everything we need. We have the cypress tree, the bottom of the trunk, the long skinny trunk, all the Branches, remember, you can make branches by adding a V or drawing a Y. We also have the water 
and the trees in the background. So if this is going to be water and this is going to be the trees in the back, what's the top going to be? The sky. Very good. All right. Now it's time for shading. This is the cool part. Let me show you what a shading scale looks like. Okay, so here we have a shading scale, or it's also called a value scale. V A L U E. Value in art means having a variation of lights to darks. So we're going to learn too. We're going to learn how to press hard, how to press medium, and then how to press soft. You could use value, which is like shading, with color too. But we're just going to use pencil today. Do you remember that sheet of paper that I told you to hold on to? The one that we cut in half? Go ahead and get it now. Let's do a quick exercise together. Okay, on this sheet of paper, you can turn it any way you want. I want you to just make some little marks. I want you to take your pencil and, you know, color pretty hard. Not too, too hard where it breaks, but you're applying a, a good amount of pressure. Do you see what happens? It's very what? Light or dark? It's dark. Okay, now across from that, I want you to take your pencil, and this is just an exercise, and I want you to press very, very, very soft. Press very soft. Oh, I'm getting a little softer. Do you see that? Especially right here for me. It looks very light, right? Now in the middle, what I want you to do, let's see if you can get a medium. Not too hard not too soft. It should be in, in between hard and soft in the middle. Yeah. So this area for me looks good. So we have dark, medium, and light. If you could make dark, medium, and light values today, you will have a shaded tree. I bet you can. Let's do it together. The first thing I want you to do is take your pencil and I want you to press pretty hard on this, um, these wavy line areas. This is the tree. Whenever we have trees in the distance, they always look kind of, um, they look really small and it looks like just a bunch of green clouds. <laughs> That's what I think. So yes, this whole area underneath this wavy line is gonna be some trees in a distance. So this is gonna be pretty hard. So you're, you're pressing pretty hard because this is gonna be our dark values. Okay. So I'm coloring with you and, you know, your picture is not going to be just like mine. Your tree trunk may be a little shorter. It may be a little taller. It's fine. And you can always add more branches or take some off. All right. The next dark space. Take a look. We need to make some texture for the bark. Oh wait, we have to erase this line here. Do y'all see this line going through the tree? That's not supposed to be there. We just want lines going up and down. Yes, yeah, so you can erase that with me. All right. So we need lines, especially um, about at least four or five on the bottom of this trunk, because that's where we could show a lot of the, the bark. We need wavy lines, dark wavy lines inside of this tree. 
And if you can't fit a wavy line, you know, you could always add one on the outside. If you can't fit it on the inside, it's just a bunch of lines. See, look, I'm adjusting my tree branches as I'm working. If you want it to be a little more curvy, you can make it curvy. So add some dark, wavy lines of bark all inside of your tree, on the trunk and on the branches. Now if you take a look, once you're finished with that, what I'm going to need you to do is kind of press, you know, hard on the bottom to show these really dark areas in the tree trunk. It's very, there's a lot of shadows in the tree trunks of a cypress tree, especially on the bottom. There's a lot of ridges, so you're just gonna color, you're gonna press hard on the wavy lines that you made on the bottom of the trunk. And you can kind of bring it up a little bit. You see that? You're just making some darker, thicker areas of value on the bottom of your trunk where you drew those wavy lines. And then once you do that, you can kind of color up a little bit just to kind of blend it in to some of the other wavy lines on the tree. And now we can press medium. You can press medium, kind of medium soft or medium light. You don't have to press too hard because we already drew. So you might actually get away with coloring pretty soft. You want to be able to see the texture in the tree. So with your pencil, you're pressing soft to medium. It just depends on how dark your pencil is. We want to be able to see the bark that we just made. So make sure you don't press too hard. We should still see the bark. If you can't see the bark, then you're pressing too hard. So color soft, maybe even soft medium. Okay, you'll know. You're just filling in the tree branch space. Now I'm not going to put any leaves on here. The first picture that I showed you in the beginning of this video, I put some leaves, but since it's the bald cypress, I figure we're just going to draw the branches with some moss. So continue to color your tree with me. I bet it's coming out really good. Do you see how it's kind of hard to see where the uh, the bark is, huh? The bottom you could see it really good. So I hope you were able to shade the bottom part of your tree trunk. And it's okay if you have some white areas. That'll be good. It'll show the light. So go ahead and continue. And if you have any, um, a lot of times when you're working with pencil, it's real easy to get some pencil smudges. Just from touching the pencil so much, it'll smear. And I'm gonna show you a really cool trick that you can do with the water and the moss. So what you're gonna do is take your pencil. Now keep in mind, the moss just kinda hangs over the branch. And it's like real squiggly. So you can just make a bunch of squiggly lines. You see that? Just kinda 
kind of like chicken scratch. And so it's just hanging over the tree. So go ahead and make some moss with me. I mean, some hang really low. So it just kind of hangs over both sides of the tree. Kind of bumpy, squiggly, wavy lines. And they hang from these little branches. And it hangs from the big branches too. Well, this one's going to be a big thing of moss. Doesn't that look neat? So go ahead and add your moss. Remember, I'm using the point, the tip of my pencil. Notice how I'm holding it? The tip of my pencil, making it real, real squiggly and kind of bumpy and wavy. It's fun to make moss. And you know what's cool you can do? Smudge it around a little bit if you want to, just to kind of I don't know, show a different type of um, texture, makes it look soft. All right, if you do that, what you're going to have to do is take your eraser and just kind of, you know, maybe erase some of the parts that's smeared. Or you can leave it. So by now you should have finished coloring your tree and making your moss. I'm going to show you a really cool trick, the last step. There we go on how to make water. You ready? Okay, first thing you're gonna do, now watch, you're just gonna take your pencil and you're gonna color very softly across. You see? Very, and I'm holding it on the side. Whenever we made the moss, we held it up. Hold your pencil on the side and you're gonna color very light. And then if you notice, you'll even see some lines in the water. You can, you know, make a couple of bumpy lines if you want. So now I have white, light, medium, and dark values. Pretty cool, huh? I'm so glad you joined me today. I had a lot of fun drawing the bald cypress tree with you. And we learned about so many things too. We learned that the bald cypress in Louisiana is the actual state tree and it is found in many swampy areas. We even learned how to draw this tree using three kinds of lines. Do you remember the three lines that we used? Straight, curvy, and wavy. Good job. Do you remember the new word that describes the lights, mediums, and darks when shading? You got it, it is called value. Well, as you go through the rest of your week, I hope you can practice using your pencil to make a drawing with lots of value. Maybe you can even draw another bald cypress tree. I hope you have a good day and I will see you again soon.